Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? I need to figure this out because I can't do it. I need help. Yeah. Well, on, well, it. well. Look who you called. <laughs> All right. So how do we solve this? Well, we can actually solve this using this equation. So in this value, the velocity was zero. Mm -hmm. So that means this is just zero. Meaning we only have half a t squared. And the distance it fell was 50 centimeters, correct? Yeah. Well, uh, and when, when I was at point B. Yeah, so I'm just going to convert that to 0.5 meters. And then we have half A is 9.8 T squared. Mm -hmm. So now, mm, multiply both sides by 2, you get 1 equals 9.8 T squared. Now divide both sides by 9.8. So that's T squared is 1 over 9.8. Right. So that means T is the square root of 1 over 9.8. The answer, which is T equals about 0 0.32. Mm -hmm. So now, use VF equals VI plus AT to find VF, which is going to be the velocity instantaneously over here. So, a VF is VI, which is 0, plus AT. A 9.8, then T 0.32. You can say 9.8 times 0 0.32. Yeah, it's actually 3.14, apparently. So, around, yeah. Here it is. That's the velocity. Finally, over here. Thank you for showing us this, and even more thanks since I recognize that you use a kinetic form yeah. instead of calculus. So, mm -hmm. even more thanks for that. No problem.